Hi, this is That Sound Design Guy. I am here with Winter for the game Another Crab's Treasure. Uh, she is the sound designer for the game. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. All right, I'd like to ask you a few questions if you're down for it. Let's do it. All right, so first off, uh, how'd the game come to be? Uh, like a crab, a crab action RPG kind of game. Um, I think it really came from the idea that Nick wanted to like give birth to this actual like actualized aggro crab fantasy I feel like and that for plus a love of Dark Souls kind of made us all make this kind of game. Fair enough. Who, does, who, does, who, has, who doesn't love doing a level one run in Dark Souls? <laughs> yeah exactly. Um, so um, the next question is so for the sound design I'm curious now I assume you write your own music do you also do sound effects? Um, I do the sound effects so the music for Another Crab Treasure is done by our composer Feasley um, um, who he is currently not here unfortunately but I assist with a lot of the other parts of the game. I do the back end systems for audio and I make most of the sound effects. Alright, and you make them I make yourself not from a store bought ass I make I, I typically try to layer and create as much as I can to make like a more unique um, actual like yeah, yeah, immersive like, style yeah, of sound. Yeah, it's like you're, you're combining existing sound yeah. files. Exactly, exactly. Or like we record, we'll take it coolly, right. we'll like do the whole nine yards, whatever we think we need for like whatever the sound is. And um, you um, use uh, middleware programs like Wise or Fmod? We use Fmod on another Cup treasure. Uh, we're a pretty big like Fmod. I'm an Fmod head personally. I don't really like Wise that much. No offense, Wise. But F1 is just so easy to work with. It hurts my heart a little bit. I'm sorry. I love audio consoles, and F1 feels like an audio console. Okay. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, oh, what's your favorite? Uh, what do you use? Uh, I use FL Studio personally. Uh, I also love Ableton, and I'm like kind of leaning into Bitwig. I, I, I like a lot of its backend system selling me just a little bit more every day. Yeah. And then a uh, final question, this is just a fun curveball thing I like to ask. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on AI in the current game? Is it good, bad, interesting, or not? I think it, it, it can potentially lean towards being good, but ultimately, when it comes to audio, there is this like weird middle ground that people need to find where it's not really like going after other people's assets or their work or infringing upon them, but while also being able to like push whatever we might want from an audio, especially like, if you see a point forward. Um, as for like not the general implications, I have no clue. But I do think it's just it's something I just kind of keep an eye on and watch out for because I just have no no general idea if it's going to be like a force of evil that needs to be destroyed or if it like genuinely could have some good. But right now it's looking a little sus. Fair enough. So thank you so much for your time. It's been wonderful, and uh, I can see that. Of course. Thank you so much for yours. Grab Dark Souls.